Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gamer Elite and today we are back with yet another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay country. I got this gameplay really early. I'm guessing I got it in December. Well, if the enemies call in the system hack, I don't even know if they call in the system hack. You can see the X mark on the screen. So it's a really old gameplay. Never mind about that. And I used to love this map Solar, but I really hate it now. I don't know why. So anyways, guys, what do you think about the maps in this game? I don't really know, I love some of the maps, I love Comeback, I love Green Band, and I love some other maps, but I really hate Horizon, and I used to love this map, but I hate this map, so I don't know if you guys heard about this, but there's gonna be a DLC coming out for this game really really soon, I don't know how soon, but I'm guessing around next week, or the week after that for the Xbox, and about a month later for the PlayStation members. So this DLC is called Havoc, it will have 4 maps as usual as every DLC has and it'll have 1 zombie map and a special weapon. The special weapon is accessible on both consoles as of now and I'm pretty sure it's accessible on PC as well. So the 4 maps are the maps called Core, the Urban Map, the Sideshow and Drift. And the Exo Zombies map, I don't really know what it's called. So anyways, Core, it takes place in the desert, which is pretty close to a nuclear plant. It's really good for snipers, it's mostly long range, of course there's gonna be close range engagements. So I would suggest you guys use a sniper or an assault rifle, which will be really good on this map. So the map-based skill streak on this map is pretty much the assault drone. You guys might be thinking, whoa, that's OP. But the assault drone is just like the hunter killer drone from black ops 2 which is just it kills one enemy which is not really good you know if you have blind eye you're safe to go and i'll try to put up a couple of pictures on the screen if you guys are interested you can view them and you know i can't upload the trailer but really do check the trailer out it's really awesome and anyways back to the topic the second map is called urban it's really close quarters, I would suggest you guys use some SMGs on that or shotguns, shotguns may be good on this. And what happens to this is the map changes halfway through. It's pretty much like retreat but instead of going to another half of the map, this map changes its lines of sights and all of that, new doors open up and you can go to new places in the same map and well it's kind of like retreat. And the next map is Lightshow. It is basically an abandoned motel, it's both close and long range. So you can really use any gun on this map. I really think I'll, I would like this map. Assault rifles would seem like the ideal weapons on this. SMGs would be good as well as I said. But assault rifles will really dominate. This game is pretty much assault rifle domination. So the map based skill streak on this map is really awesome. It's not really awesome but I really like it. It's like it's pretty much like bombs which come out like the uplink ball. It's the same animation of the uplink ball when you hold it. But instead it's a bomb, you can throw it on enemies, music starts playing, it's really awesome. Just see the trailer, you guys will know about this. And the last map is Rift. I don't know too much about this map, but it's medium ranged and there's a carousel in the middle of the map which rotates around and you can sit on it and just go around the whole map, I guess, I don't know. And the last thing is the Exo Zombies, which is a new thing in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I know they made it DLC, it's pretty bullshit. But if you guys want to know something more about the zombies, do watch the trailer, I guess I'll link it down in the description. And the weapon for this DLC is the AE4 Widowmaker. It's a hybrid between an assault rifle and a energy based weapon. It's not really good, it has slow fire rate and yeah overall it's not really a good weapon but it's definitely worth trying out it's it's a medium it's a medium good weapon it's not the best of course so i don't know if you guys know that's all about the dlc by the way i don't know if you guys know but there's an update coming which is going to buff most of the weapons in advanced warfare it's mostly going to buff the shotguns and some of the assault rifles and smgs i really hope it buffs the amr9 that weapon is a pain in the ass to use i really i challenge you guys to go into tdm use that weapon and get 20 kills if you can't get 20 kills with that weapon in TDM, you are a god. Just let me know in the comments down below if you try this out. And well guys, that pretty much concludes this video. You guys saw me camp and in this gameplay I die one off a nuclear which sucks and I got punched one off a nuclear which sucks more. So anyways guys, like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for more epic gameplays and commentaries. I'll see you guys later in some other video which I make. Till then, peace out and have a great day guys. Bye bye.